brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. But I think I know something about the law of Guam, and I think that uh, a lot of what <clears throat> they're proposing to do, they can't do, and it's a waste of their time and money. Local attorney Howard Trapp is referring to a voter initiative being planned by the Citizens for Public Accountability. They want to roll back raises for the governor, lieutenant governor, and senators to their 2014 levels and make all future pay raises for elected officials subject to approval by a public referendum. He says while repealing raises can be done because it's simply a matter of amending Guam laws, making future pay raises subject to a public referendum is a different story. There is absolutely and positively no way they can do that because what, there's, what you're saying is, is that, the, that the legislature would not be able to change them, and of course the legislature could change them. He says telling the Guam legislature they cannot pass laws is inconsistent with the Organic Act. He says deciding on pay raises are rightful subjects of legislation, and a voter initiative cannot limit them from doing that. This week, the group behind the initiative announced they had a second proposal regarding a part-time legislature, which would make senators meet in session twice a year. Trapp says that, too, is inconsistent with the Organic Act. And you can't change the Organic Act to tell them otherwise. It's up to them. And while he's yet to see any actual draft of the initiative, Trapp believes it's a good thing when citizens want to effectuate change. I've uh, listened to Ken Leon Guerrero, you know, on, on TV, and he really knows what he's talking about in terms of, of, of what he wants to do and why he wants to do it. But on the other hand, uh, I don't want to see them go out and do something that is not, is not going to be a law and cannot be enforced. He's even suggesting the group includes a severability clause in the first initiative. If the court throws out the second part of the first initiative, the, the, the initiative itself should make it very clear that, well, if that happens, we still want the pay back to the, to the 2014 level to still be a law because otherwise it's ambiguous. In the meantime, spokesperson for the group Ken Leon Guerrero says while no draft of the initiative has been presented to the public just yet, they are taking a slow approach. He adds these are only working concepts of the act as the language is still under review by attorneys to ensure it's correct as to form. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.